Good morning, people. This is Christian, this is Fusion for 60, and this is a vase shape. A simple shape, in my opinion. Uh, yes, it looks like this. It has rounded a corners, edges up here. There's a rounding down here, and it looks like this. It's hollow, and it's a constant wall thickness. We're gonna have a look at it. So this is this weekend's challenge for the fun of it. If you have some bad weather, I'm. This looks like at least today I will have some good weather here, so I will be outside. But let's look look at the drawing. Uh, wall thickness is two millimeters all over. The top here is a one millimeter radius fillet. That means it's a full fillet, full rounded fillet up here. Down here is a five millimeter. The dimensions here is that there is 120 millimeters of height, and we'll discuss the height. In, yeah, let's do it. As uh, so you can see, the some dimensions are out in the air, in thin air. This because this 100 millimeters here and the bottom here, that is the point that this this curve and this bottom edge here would line up if we hadn't done the fillet. I had to dimension it like this, and then it's always the outside face dimension. This. Uh, so the wall goes inside by two millimeters, outside the mesh is 100, and the narrow part is 50 millimeters, and on the top it's 65 millimeters width where the 120 millimeters hives meet up here. And due to the workflow I have, it's slightly, slightly higher up here, a couple of fractions of a millimeter. So this is the best way I can make a drawing of it, because I use a peculiar workflow. If you have seen this geometry before, Let's look at the bottom again. If you've seen this geometry before, you most probably know how to do it. If you've never seen it before, it can be a bit confusing. And that's the whole idea of this. So, with that said, give it a try, take care, see you around, and goodbye.